Thank you for staying with us. The time is now 6.13 a.m. As Black History Month comes to a close, we're taking you to Dublin, where two city cemeteries tell the story of racial segregation. In 1906, Cross the Creek Cemetery was established for black people to be buried close by, literally across the creek. You'll find Northview Cemetery, which was for white people. For decades, one cemetery was neglected, and family members that I spoke with recently discovered that they have family members who are resting at Cross the Creek. Tucked away in the city of Dublin, you'll find a visual tale of the historical racial divide of the town. On one side, a grand entrance, well-kept grounds, a mausoleum, and decorative headstones. On the other side, you see broken headstones, uneven ground, and under this earth, hundreds of unmarked graves. Definitely seeing the other grave sites and then seeing this, how it was was and still could be so much more beautiful. Um, it's, it's, it's a shame. Sonia May Calvin says her cousin recently discovered three family members who were buried at Cross the Creek Cemetery. I was able to find my great grandmother, uh, my grandfather's first wife, and a an aunt that died as an infant. Edwin May says research on Ancestry.com helped him uncover a cemetery he never knew about. I could feel the breaths of my ancestors there when I was there. When we got here, immediately, just driving on the grounds, it was a, 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 a calmness and a tranquility that came about that's amazing and hard to describe. More than 100 years after it was established, City leader Julie Drigger learned about the cemetery. In 2013, she started the process to help uncover this piece of black history. Once I saw it, I knew something had to be done because the city could not be represented with the way it was previous. Drigger says the city paved a driveway for the cemetery because the only way in became impassable whenever the creek flooded. To honor each resting soul, a list of all the people buried at the cemetery was also created. Uh, the crosses that you see are wooden crosses, and I had those crosses put down because a lot of the graves did not have any identification. Drigger says they used metal detectors to mark the graves they could find, but for the Mays, the search for their ancestors continues. She's here, Agnes May, and now I get a little emotional about that because we don't know where her site is but we just know she's out here. While the work continues to beautify the cemetery, the Mays are elated their grandkids can see a part of their own history. Um, and to see that this beautiful place now resides with our ancestors and more, that, that's a great, that's a great um, feeling. Certainly happy that we were able to tell this story. The city is working to plant live oak trees at the cemetery and there are already 11 oak trees that are planting there. And the city is also working on paying for more permanent markers for those unmarked graves.